what Kissy's making. Ready? One, two, three, jump! Bunny cookies! Got it? Uh-huh. How am I going to eat it? You just hold it like this mm. and eat it. Yep, just like that. It's going to be yummy. Okay. What do? What are these? It's chocolate chunks. Ah, my ear! <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty sunny day, but it's cold. It's not super cold anymore. I think it's almost 50 degrees now. It's not too bad. We tried to go out there for a little, but what's making it feel colder than it is is the wind. We're missing those 70 degree days we were having. They'll be back soon enough though. It's a little bit after three o'clock now. I'm about to make some poppy seed bread with an orange glaze, and I'm gonna go ahead and prep breakfast for in the morning so that I don't have to do it later on tonight. I'm looking for my bread pan. I have a few of them, but I want the speckled one. Where is the speckled one? I'm gonna do the Barney walk over here. I need this one for the breakfast thing. Where are you, bread pan? Seriously, where is that bread pan? I just had it the other day, didn't I? Did I make something in it just the other day? This is how you know that uh, you might be getting old or something. I don't know. When you're searching for a bread pan that you already put on the counter, you sat it right there, and then you proceeded to search through every cabinet in your kitchen looking for it. I took it out when I was talking to y'all a minute ago and I forgot or didn't even realize I was doing it, I guess. Spring fever strikes again. <laughs> Okay, poppy seed bread with orange glaze. This is a really pretty bread for Easter, like to make for Easter weekend, to have as just a little snack, sitting around on your counter. It just looks really, really pretty. You can also do lemon poppy seed bread, which I think we already have a video on that. We'll mix our dry ingredients in here. We need three cups of all-purpose flour. Both of these recipes that I'm making are from a church potluck magazine. Now we need two cups and a quarter cup of sugar. Does this make one loaf or two? You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make one loaf and some muffins. Jonah, Cece, and Manly, they will definitely take care of any muffins you make. Any muffins. We need three teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of salt. All right, dry ingredients are mixed. We're gonna mix our wet ingredients in this bowl. We need one cup of melted butter. I just washed three eggs real quick because we need three room temperature ones. So I grabbed three from over there that weren't washed yet. Got those cleaned up and ready. So we'll pour in the cup of melted butter. One and a half cups of milk. Three eggs. About a tablespoon of poppy seeds. And two teaspoons of vanilla. We'll whisk all of this together and then add it over in the bowl with the dry ingredients. Okay, you want to stir it just until all the dry is moistened so you don't want to over mix. I think that's just about right. Okay, so we're going to pour some of it into the bread pan and then whatever's left we'll make muffins with. Should be about right. Okay, now this goes in the oven for about 55 to 60 minutes. The muffins, of course, won't take that long. They'll just take about, we'll start checking them at around 12 minutes and see how it's looking. breakfast in the morning I'm making some baked bagel French toast so we're using these plain bagels and we're just gonna break them into some small pieces you can cut them but I'm just gonna break them up real quick we'll see how many it takes this is a 9 by 13 pan so we'll see how many it takes to fill up the pan I'm gonna guess 
around three and a half. We'll go with four. I think four will be good. Now we'll sit this over to the side. In this bowl, we need four eggs. This is that one-handed crack I learned from Caroline Ingalls. I know y'all have seen that episode of Little House on the Prairie when Harriet needs a cook for Nellie's new restaurant. Caroline goes in there showing off her egg cracking skills with the one-handed crack. Yeah. All right, so we've got the four eggs. Now we need two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of white sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of maple syrup. Now we're gonna add two cups of milk and half a cup of heavy cream. Now we just pour this over the bagels and that's it for today. In the morning, we'll make the topping for it. So we just cover this now and it goes in the refrigerator. Like the taste test. Yo, I got this stuff. It's all over my mouth and my hands. <laughs> kind of got a, a light springy feel to it. that didn't get fully coated yesterday or stirred up in with the egg mixture. Got the oven preheating to 350 and we're gonna go ahead and make the topping. We need a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of brown sugar, and three tablespoons of unsalted butter cut into little cubes. Shake in just a little bit of cinnamon. Now we'll put this over the top and it's going in the oven for about 40 minutes. Around the edges, like right here, hear that crispiness, and the tops, you have a crispy 
texture and then up under is fluffy and all it's great and it's a good breakfast for Easter morning because you can make it the night before you could also go ahead and mix up your topping and just have it in the refrigerator and then put it on before you put it in the oven those crispy edges are wonderful <laughs> make that one y'all we just found Easter morning breakfast right here 